Hi there guys, welcome back. This is Farmer Bob and yes, we are doing yet another nice game. Uh, not a game, but a, a map review. <laughs> Struggling for some words there guys, like always. <laughs> Anyways, um, this map I've downloaded is the, or I'll say the latest version of the Hof Bergman um, map. It's Hof Bergman Reloaded. And uh, yeah, let's have a quick look at that to get an idea what it's all about. Just want to have a quick look. There is a mod that, that you need in this game, which you can't uh, play this map without. It's called M Company Graphics. So I have downloaded that, and yes, now this time the map should work fine, and we shouldn't have any issues. Um, I don't know what really will happen when you play it without it, but it just gives you a warning when you start up the game the first time without this, that M Company Graphics mod. So I struggled to find it a bit and eventually found it and I uploaded it to modland.net if you need to download it that day. So don't go and search for it too much. It is there at modland.net and yeah, have fun guys. Alright, we start the game at some place. This looks like our house on a nice little porch and um, nice place to lie down in the heat <laughs> and drink some, some soda or something or whatever. Um, and then... There's this obviously um, a shop with a laptop, so that's quite interesting. If you press R, you can go in there, so you can sit here and order your goodies here from from your home, which is nice. I must say, I like this the feel of the map, the first the first uh, uh, impressions. You know, looks very nice. Oh, interesting. What have we here? Let's quickly see what this is. Bale storage. Ah, here's another bale storage for straw, hay, square bales. The bale lift makes it easier for you to get the bales to the attic. My word, can you believe that? I haven't seen this before. The bales are removed. Oh, no. I was talking too much nonsense, guys, so I couldn't read the rest. <laughs> What's new? <laughs> Anyways, there we go. There's some nice weights for us. And, uh, yeah, here's some storage space. Nice big yard. I like this big yard. It's always nice to have a big yard, you know. And then I suppose, if we press O here, we'll open the sliding door. And voila, there's two tractors. Nice deeds far there. And a Ford. Ah, New Holland. Sorry, man. Almost looks like a Ford. But it's a New Holland. <laughs> nice. Okay, good stuff. What's in here? Another surprise. Oh, this is not a sliding door. It's just a door that opens the outside. And this one, same thing. Let's just get out of the way. So, two nice storages. Here's a water tank for us. What's this here? Oh, okay, obviously. It's our, wash, our washing machine or our uh, high pressure washer, rather. And the hose pipe there next to it. Fuel drum here. You can pick it up. Too heavy, of course. <laughs> Okay, and whatever we here? Is this our workshop? Looks like it. Nice sliding door. Ah, look at that. What's this? I haven't seen that before. Little green spanner icon. I wonder what that does. Let's quickly have a look what this um, thing says here to us. Farm vehicle repair. This is your farm workshop. Here you can modify your vehicles for free. Use the toolbox at the back. Of the workshop to make it mobile. Use the toolbox in the back of the workshop to make it mobile. I wonder if I can hit something with this hammer. Oh my word, I threw it into the wall. Oh, okay. Now we don't have a hammer anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Sorry guys, won't do that again. Ah, alright. So that's our house there. That um, we'll get to that building there. Let's just run to the back here and see what's in the back around here. Another building with a thing in front. Milk house. Here's your milk house. Here you can make your own butter with butter maker or store milk on the right side of the storage tank. The, the empty milk cans on the storage tank use the basin on the wall inside. Okay, very nice. Let's open it to see. This is our milk house, guys. Look at all the big valves and things. Wonderful. Uh, this is quite neat. There is a, obviously some storage facility where you can load stuff up. Nice. Bucket here. 
That's if you manually want to milk your cow. You've got a bucket there. <laughs> you just grab the bucket. Go milk your cow. What is these things? Silage bales. Okay, wonderful. I wonder if this is a real silage bale, guys. It's too heavy for me to pick up. This is obviously a forage mi mixer. Yeah, you can possibly create your own mixing feed for the cows. That's very handy, guys, to have a mixer already. Very handy if you... This is a food dispenser. Nice. And I suppose this is probably our cow shed by the looks of it. Yes. Yes, our cow shed, guys. Wonderful, man. Oh, this is beautiful, really. Here's our milking machine. Sucking our cows dry every morning and every evening. This must be a slurry pit, definitely. Slurry manure, whatever you want to call it. I know here by us we call it slurry. And uh, yeah, put it in there. That's this here. Nice storage space for some hay bales here on top. Oh my gosh, how does farmer pop get down? You just fall down, it's easy. <laughs> okay, what are we here? Okay. Would this be like a storage space for animals or? Probably, guys. This is probably where you bring your little bucket and milk your cow manually. I'm just joking, guys, obviously. Here's our ducks. Yeah, you can keep ducks. Look there. There's ducks. Normally it's chickens. This one has got ducks. Oh, wait. All right. This is a new one. Geese husbandry. Here is your goose stall. You already have a few geese. Feed the geese with food, straw and water, then you will get offspring. The geese can be sold in the animal market. To transport, you need to fliggle animal transport pack. Okay. Wonderful. This is new, guys. I haven't seen that on the map before. Great, man. What's in here? I'm just fooling about, guys. You know Farmer Bob, he always fools about. That's what we do. We fool about, and in that way we learn. I must say, I'm really impressed. I like this um, geese thing. Very, very nice, man. Okay. What's this building here? Just want to see in the front. This is a huge building. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yes, there's our Euroboss loading wagon. So it looks like it's storage, guys, but how on earth do you get stuff in here with great difficulty around this corner? Um, I would rather say this would be for hay and straw and that type of stuff, to store that, you know, grass bales and hay bales. Uh, I suppose that's why these uh, two compartments are there you know so you can have straw grass and hay or whatever you know so yeah that would be my suggestion and what is this here Forzicht. it means you must be careful of the motor okay that's what i can gather there's some nice bales there good man guys and yes all our um, front loader pack so we got that way around, we went there, we went there, we went around there and got the geese in the back. Okay, wonderful. But that thing has got another storage on top. Or is it just high like that? What's up there? There must be an attic up there. How do you get up there? There's a door up there. So... Is that where that thing is storing the bales? No, it's not. Because that was there on that side. On that side in the front. Bale storage thing was here. Oh my gosh, guys. Farmer Bob is now confused. Sorry, the bale storage was up here in the attic. There. Up there. So that must also be like a, a storage thing up there. You know? Alright. Another mystery to be solved. Okay, let's go this way around. Here's our chickens. I like the chickens, man. It's our little chicken coop. Nice. I suppose. What is this? I suppose this will be some more chickens. Oh, we've got a fin tractor in the chicken coop. How on earth does that work, guys? 
And a trainer. He's a trainer as well. Wonderful. And what's in here? Back of the farm. Ah, okay. That makes more sense. So you can go in here. Through into the farm. Drive over a few chickens if you want. I just want to close this door. So I suppose I must just get closer to the trigger. There you go. Now our chickens are safe. Okay, great. Can you open this? Nope. This is just a picture of a door. It's not really a door. You can walk through here to the back of this building. Nice. So we know now there is the back of the yard. Some nice storage here. How does the storage thing work? Drive up here. This is offload and fill. So you fill here and do offload and out there to the back. I like this farm, guys. This is a very nice farm, I must say. So far, very, very nice. All right, let's have a look. What's this? Pig stable. Okay, here is your piggies. Feed your piggies regularly so they can produce piglets. Okay, let's have a look at our piggies. Obviously, I don't think we start the game with any piggies, but this is our souls. Um, they are here, busy giving little piglets. Oh, man. Aren't they the cutest things? Oh, just dig peas. Beautiful. There's a great white there. Um, great, man. Awesome. This is feed, pig feed. Obviously, this is the real deal. So, it's a nice pig feed. Here's a broom that you can broom around. Yeah, you can sweep the floor with it. Just going to put it down nicely. All right. And here they get fed. Oh, this is so nice, guys. Really, really nice. Okay. So, there's our big yard in the back. Excellent. Great. Okay, so we've come through here. Just want to see if I can jump this fence here. Yes, I can. This is um, where we were. Just want to catch up where we were. Um, that's a big double story building. Yep. Yeah. Farmer Bob can jump a fence, eh, guys? Spider-Man has got nothing against him. All right, these are silos. This is the big shed. I'm just going to open this to see what's in here. I like fiddling about, you know. Oh, some more seeds and fertilizer and seed store. Okay, so this is where that gets stored. Here's our seed mixer, I think. There's some water and some stuff that you can put in here. Or is this a potato washing machine? I'm not too sure. Pig food. Ah, this makes pig food, guys. So you chuck potatoes and and water and some stuff in there and it makes pig food. Okay, wonderful, man. Yo, so you start the game with quite a bit of these um, equipment. It really costs a lot if you have to buy it in, in, in mod form or actually have your stuff done somewhere else or just buy food in it's always better to make your own food guys okay sure this is wonderful okay so let us jump over here this is the big uh big pen or what you call it the big uh yard so let's go out this side this is where we've just been just want to see what's here in the back great so here we have some more nice storage See what's in here. What have we got here? This is goats. My word, is this goats? Am I seeing right, guys? I'm sure I saw a little goat icon there. Definitely, definitely. Instead of sheep, we've got goats on this one. It's a bit different. I can't make out that icon. Or maybe it's a sheep. I don't know. Look, either a sheep or a goat. But anyways. <laughs> oh, gosh. I've learned not to be surprised by anything. But you get surprised now and then, though. In any ways, you know. So, doesn't matter. So, this is definitely our sheep or our goat. No, it can't be. Guys, look there on the map. Let me go to the proper map. And then, you will. I can zoom in. Look there. We've got pigs, this is goats, and these are sheep. You see? So we've just explored this area of the map now. 
I'm going to go up here to just see what's that. And then we'll go on that side of the road to the sheep. And I suppose this is storage with all our vehicles and equipment. But yeah, it will be nice to just have a look. So that's our feeding place for the goats. So you've got goats and sheep on this. And you know with goats you can make goat milk. A um, lot of um, other products with goats. Have we checked this facility? See on the back of the pigs. Just want to make sure what this is. Just before we uh, get too far distracted. Oh, that's a nice big barn. And what I like about it, it's got a nice skylight on it. And up here, what is up here? What is this place? Betriebstrippen is der zutrit verboten. In other words, guys, trespassers will be shot. <laughs> this is a compost machine there. And I suppose the silage or something in here or is this manure. Oh yeah, no, this is definitely your, your um, slurry pit. Very nice. Look at this. There's your compost. And this thing is a frickle dosing and filling systems. My gosh, whatever this thing does, I've got no idea. But it, uh, it's got the frickle on it. I'm just fooling around, guys. I'm just fooling around. There's a frickle on it. <laughs> a frickle. <laughs> I don't know how you pronounce it, but anyway. So I'm just hoping it's all right. Um... What would this be? What would this be? It would be also some type of storage. I've got no idea, guys. Um, you will definitely chuck stuff in here and get it out there again. So, and that's also weighing of different things. So I suppose you put two different things in here and get a mixture out. So it's some mixing station for something. I can bet it's for some food or feed or whatever you know let's jump that what a nice uh hay storage definitely looks like hay storage absolutely very very nice big um storage facility one thing on this farm there's a lot of storage guys you're not going to have too little storage here's our little private milking corner <laughs> or if you want to use it for that Okay, guys, uh, I think we've seen enough here on this side of the farm. And then, it's open here, I'll just jump the road. See, the rest of the farm is on this side of the road. So, let's go and have a look what's awaiting us here. This looks like a silage pit. Must be a silage pit, all right. And our sheep is up here. Very, very nice. Just want to see what's in this building. Oh yes, there's a little transformer. Oh yes, here's our sheep. Nice man, nice, nice. There's the feeding spot. Yes, some hay bales in that. Water. Great. You put all your feeders in there. There's manure. Um, and yeah, that's it. What's this here? Vehicle parking area. Additional vehicles machines can be parked on this side. The halls can be used to store additional bulk goods. Open sesame. Here we go. Guys, this is really awesome, man. Look at all the kit you start with. Trailer upon trailers and loading wagons and tractors. And there's our harvester. Fuel and fertilizer. And what on earth is this? This has got like a little thing there. 30 max. What's this? This is your 30 max. Here you have the opportunity to make your own liquid fertilizer. It requires water and fertilizer concentrate. You can get this nitrum big bags in the shop. Now I know what that big bags are for. I was always wondering what that nitrous big bags are for. Now you've got it. Fuel out and fuel in. This is the farm fuel station where you can... Chuck some nice biodiesel 
in all your vehicles. That's our harvester. Looks like a case or a messy. Is it a messy? Oh, it's a messy. Activa. Nice. I hope it's a very active uh, harvester. Nice. Okay, guys. And then lastly, let's just check in this barn. I suppose it's only storage, like it said there. A lot of storage. Oh, no. Here's another thing. Seedmaster. Okay. So there's your Seedmaster. And this is just storage. Wonderful. Sure, guys. Um, I can honestly say, um, by the looks of it, it is a very, very nice map to start with. All right. Let's have a quick look around. We've now intensively done our farm here. Um, we haven't had a look at that. What on earth is that? Uh, that is sheep. That is goats, pigs, cows. Could this be your bulls? Are we going to have to be? I'm now intrigued, guys. I, I am now totally intrigued to find out what that is. Mind you, let's just quickly visit it, man. It's going to be much easier. Zebus. It's a Zebus. <gasps> I've got no idea what a Zebus is, guys. Cow pasture. This is goats. I know that for a fact. I can see the icon. However, I've never seen goats in farming simulators. So, wow, what a change, guys. What's this? Horses. <gasps> Ponies. Wow. I know there's a pony mod out, so they probably included the pony mod on this. I just want to quick, oh, let's rather not go there now. I want to definitely just check this. Zebus. How does a Zebus look in life? I've got no idea, guys. Here by us, there's some zebras, uh, which is a totally beautiful animal probably one of the most beautiful animals in the world is a zebra um, or a zebra i don't know how you pr pronounce it in your country um, but yes here by us we've got probably about three different types of zebras um, beautiful animals um, but a zebus i don't know what a zebus is i'm gonna have to find out i don't know what it is guys i don't even have a don't have a live one running around here. That is sad. I would have loved to see one in action. <laughs> Anyways, we'll buy one in the game. How's that? We'll buy a Zebus and put it in here. But wait a sec. That looks like a, a bull. Yeah, you know what this is? I think this is your your like your your breeding station for your Fancy animals, you know, your bulls and stuff that you, you actually select breeding with. So it might be something like that. So yeah, that's what I can guess. Um, anyways, although this is the first time I've seen that in Farming Simulator. So that is also new to me, guys. It might not be new to you, but it's new to Farmer Bob. <laughs> so yes, we live and learn, I always say, you know. We live and learn. Okay, we wanted to... Um, look around the rest of the map. So, as always, I enjoy a map with you forming the center of it and everything around it, which makes everything from you as central as possible. You know, so your driving is limited and you don't have to drive too far for anything. So, yeah, but in general, this is very nice. I like starting with the palm in the middle. Good. All right, so... What else have we got here on the map? Yeah, there's so many things. Let's just do a quick overview of what you start with. Um, some tractors, which is very nice. Skid loader, harvester, trailers, water tanks. Uh, yeah, another loader. So you've got two loaders. Wow, okay. Another water tank. Yeah, trailers, all the baling equipment. Cedars, uh, weights, front loaders. Fertilizer spreader. So yeah, anything that you need, you, you start with, with the basics. Um, so yeah, I can get going quickly. We've got all the basic fruits here. Um, it's a bit of a sadness to see that it's only the basic fruits. On a fancy map like this, I would have expected now to have um, different types of fruits, you know, because 
so far we've had so many different types of animals <laughs> and, and other and, and, and other strange things that we haven't seen before you know so yeah but anyways uh, I suppose you can do anything on the map with these um, all right so uh, fruits we start off with all our standard amounts not too many cell points quite a bit of cell points look at that there is a nice array of uh, marketing places. And you do have all the other options. Look at that. There is quite a bit. Sure, look at that. From sausages to cabbages. and uh, There's some stuff here. I don't I'm even sure what they are. This looks like milk. Uh, that is definitely piglets or pigs or whatever. Man, oh man, oh man. This is nice, guys. Very nice. These are wood chips. No, this is pellets. It's straw pellets and and um, what's that other pellets? Straw and hay pellets. Okay, all the vehicles that we get is brand new, which is always a bargain. Not to have all damaged vehicles that you have to spend a lot of money on repairing. Finances, the normal 50 grand loan. So yeah, nothing surprising there. We start with zero animals. You see the zebu population. Sheep, cows, zebu. Okay, but where's our pigs there now? Oh wait, you can go here. Pigs, goats, farm dogs. My word! Can you believe it? You can breed with farm dogs. That's a new one. I haven't seen that before, guys. And there's the ponies. Is that how you spell ponies? I didn't know that, guys. Ah, that is interesting. Very interesting. While well, we live and learn. <laughs> that is true. Oh, I just want to go back here because this is really nice. Farm dogs, goats, pigs, zebus, and cows and sheep. A lot of animals on this map, guys. Really a lot of animals. Okay, that's my settings. Okay. Okay, from here. Uh, here's a biogas plant to the north. These are cows. So we have cows there. We, we didn't visit the cow pasture, but that's your cow pasture. We intensively had a look at this. So fields we start with. Field 1. 16, 3, 21. And that looks like the lot. Hmm. Okay, yeah. So it's one, two, three, four fields. And they're nice and close to the farm. So I enjoy that always, you know. So you don't have to struggle with your vehicles from here right over to the other side of the map, like in some maps, you know. Drive yourself silly all all day long, up and down with all your vehicles. So yeah, this is nice. I enjoy that. Uh, again, the farm is in the center and there is semi like a circle route that you can drive all around so map is very accessible by the looks of it so yeah that's nice uh, however I'm, it's, it's a lime pit man i was wondering what that is the lime pit yes that's this thing that's popped out in the northeast um then we jump up here there's a sawmill so yes there must some must be some forestry in this area then there's a mostery I think the mostery probably makes apple cider, you know, where it's like a beer, but it's a cider. Ah, oh, nice, man, guys. Plantage. Here we go. Okay, so that's that's like a, a um, what do you call it? Not a vineyard, but it's a, um, it's a plantation of apple trees or whatever that is. Okay, guys, so this way around. Here's some more cow pastures. This one, so building property. Ah, oh, what is that, guys? I haven't seen that before on on any map, you know. So let's just have a quick look there. Building property. So you can buy this piece of land by the looks of it. Press R. Building property land here, approximately one point five hectare. With this purchase of this property, you have the possibility, placeable buildings and other items. Okay, so 150 
thousand euros and you can have this huge massive place no, it's not bad guys very nice so you can set up your your lettuce and tomato and those kind of things uh, you can set it up here put some solar panels up uh, beehives whatever other industry you want to do you can park it here so even they even thought of that vegetable growing here it is here so you can visit that and let's have a look in here oh my word here you can grow red cabbage white cabbage lettuce and tomatoes so why would you then okay so for any other building you want to do like wood chips or <laughs> whatever pellet production or whatever you want to make uh, you can make it on that other piece of property so this one obviously now is for your for your vegetables yeah okay this is nice this is nice I've actually played the previous version of this map it wasn't as nice as this one this one is very nice and I've actually produced some some lettuce and tomatoes and stuff from this field which is very nice you can park your vehicles here there's water here, there's uh, um, everything you need to, to do um, to your vegetables from here. Very nice, very, very nice. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So we've done this whole northern area. Here's a big lake where you can get some fresh water. Okay. And then this thing, piglet rearings. Let's go visit the piglet rearings. So you can buy this. Uh, station here is the piglet ring station you can raise piglets from the pig seed to real pigs in order to use the breeding stations they must be purchased first after the purchase you will receive two breeding stations plus a storage place for pigs wonderful guys wonderful man so this is where you can raise some pigs as a business if you want to do that um, i don't i've never done that before on on this game in farming simulator so I I can't tell you if it's profitable or if there's money to be made in it I on, honestly don't have an, uh, any advice on that so it's something to be investigated heating plant all right so let's visit that that's going down to the south we'll work our way around getting back to back to our own farm okay so I could only suppose your heating plant works with wood so you'll bring your wood in here gets chipped up and then it gets gets uh, um, used as some form of electricity for heat or, or heat for electricity or whatever so yeah there it is place where you can sell your wheat okay back to our map and here's another sheep pasture some more fields by the way this map has by the looks of it 24 fields 24 is the highest number I can see so definitely 24 fields guys a fairly nice amount of fields and like we said this is our orchard the orchard is the word I was looking for at the bottom there but let's just see what this is this is a village shop okay and this one from former Alfred former Bob needs to meet former Alfred let's just quickly see who former Alfred is huh guys here's some doggies that's the doggies we are raising some more pigs I suppose this is the the second farm on the map you know it's the only thing I can think of guys is that this is the second farm nice tomato patch that farmer Alfred has got yeah this is probably just the second farm all right and here opposite the road is a nice um, market let's just jump down here oh my word we went into the bushes now guys we almost got lost farmer bob where are you going i just want to jump this wall man so we can go and quickly see what's what's the fuss here is this the shop what is this place what is this place guys Robinson Market. No, it's just a cell point. Definitely just a cell point. All right. Um, this looks looks like a butchery. Yes, it's a butchery. Okay. 
This is our orchard. I just want to quickly visit this orchard. And there they are, guys. Look at that. Beautiful. So here you can... Um, this apple trees. Yeah, it is definitely apple trees. Here you can water them and take care of them and then harvest some apples. Wonderful. There's a dairy down there for your milk. Uh, fuel station. What's this? Livestock market. This is where you buy and sell your animals. We can do a quick visit there just to have a look. And there they are. That is your livestock there. Oh my word. What's that? I wanted to see. There it is. There's that um, bull cow thing. It's somewhere here. That's the cows. They don't show it here. Ah, it's like a steer. No, that's a cow there. Anyways, I wanted to see that animal thing that we were looking at there on top. But I wasn't sure what it is. Anyways. Oh, yes, one of the workers coming. I think he's taking a smoke break. Or he's going on, what's it, quarter to ten. It's probably tea time. He's taking a break now for tea. Okay. Right, spinnery. Everyone knows what the spinnery is. It's for the wool. And this is our dealer. So let us visit our shop. Man, oh man, that's the shop there. You can buy... Anything you want here from the shop, look, the doors open automatically for Farm and Bob. Customize your vehicles here, sir. Here you can sell or customize your vehicles. Okay, and then obviously this side is where you would buy vehicles, I think. Or what's that? Ah, store customize to sell your vehicles. Help! I can't get out! That's the bank there where you can draw some cash. Okay, but where do you buy things, guys? Is it in here? I would have thought that it's in here, at this site. At, uh, that looks to me like a workshop, and this looks to me like sales. So I would have thought that you can buy on this site. Reparatory service, okay. You see, Verkauf, that means to to sell, so this must be where you buy, but there's no one here. Or can I just click here on the screen and something will happen? Nope. Not that easily, my friend. Okay, anyways, not, let's not worry about that, because we have a shop in our backyard, remember? We've got a nice laptop there. Where we started the game and then from there we can we can uh, um, just do our thing, you know, buy from there. All right. So, what's this grain mill? Here's a grain mill to to take your grain to. And then here in the right hand corner seems to me like another farm. Are right, you guys? Let's go visit this. Is this true? Or a little bit closer. Or, or yes, a chicken farm. Would you like to buy the chicken farm for 350,000 euro? No, nope, thank you. But yes, here is a whole chicken farm, guys. You can buy this as a whole business on its own. And do only chickens. I want to see. I want to see. I can't see. Uh, anyways, let's have a look if we can jump over that. Um, Nope, can't. Doesn't look like it can. But Farmer Bob might just be able to jump the fence here. I will just want to have a glance at the chickens. Maybe they've made this thing just too high for Farmer Bob to jump over. Anyways. Nope, we can't. Can't, can we? I can almost, almost get over it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we had a good try, guys, and a good laugh, so yeah, let's not worry about it. Okay, so yes, that's interesting. So here's the ponies. I wanted to have a look at the ponies. As well. What what do you do here by the ponies? Oh, no, Farmer Bob has lost its spring in his legs. He can't even jump this little pony fence now suddenly. Okay. 
let's see if there's a gate from above have a look at the gate maybe there's a gate and you can go walk through the gate that would be the best way of doing it there's the little pony shop I could have actually just teleported there guys saved this awesome time the pony ranch here we go Pony breeding. Approximately 1.16 with the fetchness of the ponies, you can get a large pasture, two stables, and a barn for 250,000 euros. Yo, this is so nice, guys. So you've got so much options on what to do and what to play and how you want to play the game. It is amazing, guys. Wow, this is nice. Really, really nice map. So far, I'm very impressed, guys. And look at this. You put the blue back down there. They should have put it in the bin, but anyways, can you? Ah, Farmer Bob is fiddling around. With... Oh my word, now there's two. Oh no, 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 no. Let's just leave it. I'm not going to bother now. There's some more rubbish. It seems like a nest there somewhere, guys. There must be a nest. Anyways, we just wanted to have a look at this. Obviously, um, there's some nice um, fertilizer here and seeds and all kinds of nice goodies for you to buy. Wonderful. What's this? Pallet. This is your wool. Goods accepted. Pallets, scratch, loose wear, big bags and bales. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, guys, so that is what's here. Let's just go here to this place. Waste disposal. My gosh, can you believe it? There's even a waste disposal, like a recycling plant. Hey, guys, I've really thought of everything on this map, you know, water treatment. And here we go. This is where they treat the water. Oh, we are now in deep trouble, guys. They just landed in the pool. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh well. What's new, guys? I hope it's water. It's not something else. But anyways, I don't even want to think about it. Luckily, I can't smell it. <laughs> okay, wonderful. Yes, guys, I don't know about you, but I am totally, totally hooked on this map. I think I'm going to gift definitely definitely give it a nice playthrough and see what what all else is there to do you know but there's certainly a lot and lot and lot of options you know and you won't run out of um, ideas and things to do on this map for sure it's just a pity there's so little fruits you know I would have loved to see another whole palette of fruits uh, um, types you know different fruit types but I mean that's not really really the case all the basics are there um, and you've got enough cell points you can do with these you can do all the animals on this um, on this uh, uh, map so yes guys farmer Bob saying saying this is a good map I don't know about you if you agree um, I would love to hear your comments at the bottom and I must really say thumbs up to the guys who created this map. You really did a good job, guys. This is awesome, man. A really nice map. And then um, I think you start with enough equipment to get you going. It's not the biggest of the picks. The biggest. Um, there is some. So there is a few big uh, fields on this map. So you don't really need big equipment. It's ample to do everything. You know, to get you started and get going. Um, and then obviously you start the map with the, the average 25 grand. Um, so yeah, easy to start and easy to, to get going with this map. Well guys, I think I've said enough and um, I would love to hear in, your, in the comments if there's anything that I've missed or whatever your thoughts is. Um, but yeah, I think I've done my part and given an honest opinion of everything that I could see and think about, you know. So I hope you enjoyed it with me. And until next time, guys, Farmer Bob saying cheers. Cheers, guys. Bye.